Welcome to Introduction to Layouts. So here is the uh, Rhino web page. And if you go to Learn, go to the uh, Tutorials option off uh, the Learn Rhino page. There is uh, an option for drafting and printing. And the basis for this presentation is this wiki page called uh, Introduction to Layouts. Uh, there is a download for a PDF and the uh, one set of the uh, tutorial models that uh, we'll be using during the presentation that you can download and uh, go through uh, at uh, your own pace. And since we do record it, you're able to go through it at your own pace and uh, with the uh, most of the uh, exercise files. So that's uh, a great way to, uh, to build skills with, uh, with the layout feature. So before uh, we go in uh, to Rhino, I just want to uh, have uh, a brief uh, discussion about what layouts are and how they're used. Then we're going to go into Rhino. We're going to look at a number of examples. And uh, to make it really useful to uh, all of you, uh, I want to look at uh, a variety of examples in different unit systems. So the first one that we're going to look at will be a 3D model in Imperial units. Uh, then we'll look at a simple 2D plan that's also in Imperial units. And then we have a 3D model in metric units. Just for sake of time, I have some models that I've gotten from Rhino users that uh, I want to share with you at the end of the presentation. There's a couple jewelry ones, there's an architectural one, there's a marine one. So that we can look at uh, a few once we get the basics down, then it's pretty easy to kind of dissect them and uh, look at how uh, how they're set up. So quite uh, simply, layouts represent the sheet of paper that you will put in your printer or plotter. Hard copy or virtual, so we use this uh, term kind of uh, loosely. Uh, you may be uh, printing to uh, a laser jet or you may be printing to a large format design jet type plotter or the output device of your choice may be a virtual plotter like a PDF printer and we'll be using uh, the PDF uh, printer. Since the layout represents the sheet of paper that goes into the plotter, we're going to add details to that layout that show different views of the model at different scales. We can also have different information in one view visible than in the other. And we can add to that layout geometry that doesn't necessarily relate to model geometry, like title blocks, schedules, general notes, legal descriptions. It's not that you can't plot from model space, you can, but there's a point in the development of your model where you, you may decide that you need to arrange multiple views of your model on a sheet of paper to go to the plotter and assign different scales or have different information visible. And that's when you want to consider uh, going in and using the layout space. The scale is set directly to the detail, and that's why you can plot from the layout space one to one is because you've already assigned the scale to the detail. So you can have one detail at full size and another detail at half size. Or in architectural terms, uh, uh, you could have one detail at eighth inch equals a foot and one detail at half inch equals a foot. So you can mix scales on the layout sheet. And typically the layout sheet is plotted one to one. That doesn't mean that you can't go in and plot it half size. It just means that when you set up a layout that's 11 by 17, and you assign the scales to the details, and in order to make it so that those details can be scaled, they need to be plotted on 11 by 17 sheet one to one. Uh, there's lots of uh, options here, and uh, rules are always made to be broken, but we do want to uh, set down the typical way to use layouts uh, in this presentation. So you'll be modeling in Rhino, and your model may be a 3D object, or it may be a 2D set of curves. Uh, the 2D curves could be modeled in Rhino, or you could import them as DWG or DXF into Rhino, and then 
decide that it's time to put them on a title block. And to that title block, you'll create details or windows into the Rhino model. So I like to think of these details as windows. And these windows will show different views of your model, top view, side view, front view, perspective view, and it can show them at different scales. In this example, we have a simple 2D plan. Again, we'll take it into the layout space, create windows into the model to show the plan at different scales. Okay, so here in this detail, we look at the larger plan at 8th inch equals a foot, and in this detail, we take the kitchen view and we show it at a larger scale so we can put more detail information. If you look in this view we have dimensions over here we don't. So this is what we were referring to a few slides ago that you can add geometry to this detail that doesn't show up over here. So for simplicity and easy reading and also duplication of material, keeping the dimensions only available in this view is uh, optimal in, uh, in this uh, situation or adding uh, details about the layout that wouldn't be appropriate here in, uh, in the uh, smaller plan view. In addition to that, it's kind of a subtle point here, but you'll notice that we have the cabinet layer magenta and in this view we have the cabinet layer cyan. So you can control the color that you have assigned to the same layer in the details. So the details have a layer color property, um, both color by display and color and plot color and plot width that are set specifically to the detail. Other information that we can add to this sheet, in this case general notes, legal descriptions, door schedules, window schedules, information that doesn't directly relate to the model geometry can go on here on the layout sheet. Now in addition to kind of text information, you can also add images. So using the picture frame command, you could put a nice rendered image of some part of your model right here on the layout space. So when we go into Rhino, we are going to arrange we're going to add a layout first, and to that layout we're going to arrange details of the various models. We're going to set the details to scale. We'll turn on layers in one detail, and we'll turn them off in another detail. We'll add dimensions and annotations that are appropriately sized for each detail. So we'll be talking about a feature called annotation scale that was added in Rhino 5, and we'll set different color plot weights to one detail versus the other. And we'll also be sending out the layouts to PDF. We can have multiple layouts in a Rhino model, and we can print multiple layouts to a PDF file. Just uh, a little bit uh, of history uh, here. Uh, layouts were added to Rhino at version 4. So prior to version 4, we would take the Rhino model outside of Rhino into uh, a CAD package like AutoCAD or BriskCAD. I've also seen uh, users set up the uh, plot sheet in Photoshop or uh, PaintShop Pro or whatever the image editing uh, software is. There may be times where you still prefer to use that method for other reasons, but um, Hopefully, if you don't use layouts now, hopefully sometime as we get going with them, you'll find a use for them. Kyle uh, Kyle was pretty funny. He had to uh, sit through my uh, rehearsal of this uh, a few weeks ago. One of his uh, suggestions was that uh, when we went to, into Rhino to take a look at this model that was done by one of our uh, teachers up in uh, Linden, Washington, and uh, his name is Dave Whitecamp. And Dave uh, set up this model uh, with his students. It has a number of layouts, and what this model does is take the 3D geometry 
of this truck and uh, the truck is part of a project for kids in need so the students at the high school create wooden toys for kids that that need toys and then they're distributed through uh, the charity uh, joys and toys so um, here you have the uh, 3d model and in each of the layouts there are different views of that model that are laid out you know quite brilliantly here on the layout pages and by laying out the model this way these drawings can go to the plotter and they can be carried out to the shop floor where the kids are fabricating the parts of this model and then putting them together into one of these trucks. So uh, anyway, uh, Dave uh, uh, lent me this file so that uh, I could show you a way that they use layouts in uh, in their classroom. And